Thomas' character in Rain Man is so charming and can kind of fast talk and con anybody. I don't know how charming he is. But <laughs> well, he's, he, can, he can pull stuff over on people. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that, that that could be said about you. I mean, if you wanted to, you could, you could charm anybody. I, I have to wonder, the question is, are there people in your life who are either immune to your charm or just have got your number and, and, and don't let you get away with stuff? What do you mean by that? Is there anybody who really knows you so well that, that people that you can just really feel like um, can't, can't, can't dazzle them? Can't dazzle him. Lisa, come on. See, you can dazzle <laughs> anybody. Oh, God. I, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to answer that question. I, uh, Nobody's really got your number. I think everyone has my number, and that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> the character is emotionally cut off yeah. from things. Sure, he's very cold. I would think that just out of necessity, as a movie star, that there's some part of you that has to be cut off. How, how, do you, how do you balance that and how do you avoid that from happening to you just because of circumstances? See, Lisa, you gotta understand. I mean, it's, you really, it's not about being a movie star. I mean, that's, I mean, this whole interview is kind of, I mean, every time we sit down, you ask me this. And every time I tell you that it's, that there is, I mean, there isn't a part of me that's cut off. I mean, that it's about, you know, it's about the work. And, and it's wonderful being a movie star, and it's a, it's a wonderful thing that's, that's happened, but I mean, that's not how I approach choosing a film or how I approach my life. I mean, that's, and so in doing that, I, you know, being an actor, you can't, you know, you can't let things get cut off. I mean, I really, I live a very normal life, uh, and you know, I go to the movies, I go to the gas station, I go grocery shopping, I do everything, you know, that that everybody else does. And that's, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's what it's about. It's not about, uh, you know, the whole movie star trip thing. So you don't feel the encumbrances of the success and the image? No, I don't. I really don't. And now you make a lot of money. Was there a time when you started acquiring wealth that it was ever uncomfortable for you? Sure, yeah, it was actually. Because, I mean, I was never, I was always, it was a, always the type of person that when I needed money, I could always, you know, I always worked, had paper routes and cut grass and everything. And to have the responsibility of money and understanding that responsibility is, uh, you know, something, because I didn't know what to do, you know, well, how do you invest? Well, I don't know anything about money when I started out, really. You're a self-described risk taker. How is that? Self-described. That's what you say about yourself. You like <laughs> risk. You've told me that before, right? It's true, yes. How does that factor into your success, do you think? Uh, this will be the psychological probing section of the interview. Yes. <laughs> um, I think, uh, you know, just taking chances. Uh, trying different things. You've got one of the nicest reputations in Hollywood. I mean, everyone who interviews you says, hands down, you are polite and giving. But I've interviewed you a lot of times, and you don't let people real close. How come? I think I'm letting you pretty close, Lisa. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like you hold something back or you protect <clears throat> something? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you know, you, uh, you know, I'm doing this, you know, to help promote the films. I mean, I really don't hold back that much when you ask me anything. But I mean, there is a certain, you know, you want to certain things that I really don't want to talk about, and certain things that really aren't important, you know, for uh, aren't important for people to hear and I really don't even think they want to hear it. You have a lot of confidence. <clears throat> Are there any times when that's ever shaken? Oh, or would you look oh, at yeah. something and go, Tom, that wasn't very good, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Uh, sometimes I look back, I look back and, you know, I'm, 
where did I get off going to New York to say that I'm going to be an actor? You know, I mean, where? But, but I think the thing that's that's really helped me is to, you know, a lot of people, when they treat failure as a personal kind of horrendous defeat and really let life kick them pretty hard, and uh, I like to look at things and say, God, you know, I mean, if it didn't work, I want to know why didn't it work. Mm. You know, why, why didn't, you know, why didn't it work? And really, uh, you know, try to lift myself up and have the courage to really evaluate it and learn from it and say, you know, what happened? Okay, let's go. It almost seems that there's a part of you that courts danger with the racing and the moves that you've made in your career the chances you took as a kid? Yeah, I guess I don't like to... I, I like to have everything on the line. I like to... F I like to feel that. I like to feel that there's, you know, something at stake. And, uh, I mean, that's... <clears throat> that's what I... I mean, I just really... I enjoy that. really enjoy that.